What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Handmade Business Seekers podcast. And today I want to talk to you about the seven essential softwares that you're going to need to grow and scale your woodworking business. Let's dive in. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the podcast. For those of you watching on YouTube, I say this often, go check out the podcast because we've got over 90 episodes now on the podcast. And and there was probably about 75 episodes that we did before we even started putting our content on YouTube. And so there's tons of valuable information there. If you are starting growing your handmade business, your craft business, your woodworking business, make sure to go check that out. And so if you're listening and you're wanting more of a visual, go find us on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and connect with us there. We'd love to follow or uh, hear from you. So I wanna talk to you today about the seven software essentials that you're gonna need to grow your woodworking business. Now, these are the seven things that uh, have really transformed my business in a major way. And some of these were things that you needed right out of the gate. Some of these are things you don't really need until later on, but they're all our powerful tools. And some of them are free, some of them are not, but they're all things that I would highly recommend if you're serious about scaling or growing your handmade business. And so number one is Shopify. Shopify, and this is a website building platform. Now, maybe some of you are watching this and you're like, well, Zach, I already have a website. Um, well, even if you have a website, the thing I love about Shopify is it's so user-friendly. It's so easy to build. It's so easy to make. And then it's very easy for people that are visiting your site to get what they want. Um, Shopify is one of those platforms that's given you, going to give you analytics. It's uh, on how many people are arriving on your site, what pages they're looking at. There's probably 10,000 apps that you can get inside the Shopify app store to improve the sales performance of your website. And um, overall, I would just give it an A plus through and through. I mean, I literally guys back in 2017, built my website in a day, like built 90% foundation of what I have as a website in one day on Shopify. And so this is something that uh, even if you're not tech savvy, even if this, this, you're listening and you're like, man, I don't know anything about that. You can do. You can get on Shopify, and you can be dangerous without knowing a whole lot because it's so user friendly. It's easy to set up and easy to do. And so that's number one is Shopify. You're gonna. And let me just say this: if you don't have a website yet, you need a website. Does it mean that when you get a website, your business is gonna 10x overnight? No, but it does help legitimize you as a brand and as a company. If you are just on Facebook Marketplace right now, selling your stuff. Uh, on Facebook Marketplace and you've got a Facebook page maybe, but you have no website, well, you're not legit yet. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a brand and we do that, part of how we do that is by creating a really beautiful website that's easy to navigate, has an about us page with you and your family, uh, why you started your company, and so people can connect to you and that's ultimately help them buy as well. So that's number one. Number two is QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online and so, one of the biggest mistakes that I made was that I just wasn't super confident from a bookkeeping standpoint for years in my business. So backstory here, I, was, I always did well in school, always made uh, straight A's. In college, I made A's and B's. The only class in my entire life I ever made a C in was accounting, <laughs> and I barely made a C. I'm talking by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And so it was something that I was just never very confident in. It was something that I uh, was always intimidated by, you know. And um, so I was always afraid to to even do it. And this was like this was like a sub subconscious subconscious hindrance in my business because I was like, well, if I get big, I'm not going to know how to manage the numbers. You know, if, if we grow to twenty thousand or thirty thousand or a hundred thousand a month. I'm not going to know how to keep up with the numbers. I'm going to, I'm going to mismanage it. I'm going to, I'm, I'll lose it all because I don't know how to manage it. And so QuickBooks Online is fantastic. It's super easy. It's super, super easy. Basically, all you're doing is as you take orders, you're creating invoices inside of QuickBooks that says, I took this order, and this is how much money I have to collect on the order. And then you just connect it to your bank accounts, which need to be business bank accounts, by the way. You need to set up an LLC, have a business bank account, but then you're gonna connect QuickBooks Online to whatever your business bank accounts are, 
And then you're just going to track whatever those transactions are. So if you spend $100 at Home Depot on wood, well, that's cost of goods sold. That's, um, you know, material cost, right? If you pay somebody that came in and worked for you, um, that's it. They're a contractor. So you assign that check as a contractor to whatever their name is or whatever the other business is, right? It's very easy once you get a foundation to kind of understand what you're doing. And so this is just one of those things that when you do this, you can always go back and look at your data and pull numbers and understand where you're sitting. Where are we at as a, as a company right now? Okay, that's number two. Number three is a program called Asana. Asana.com, A-S-A-N-A.com. And what this is, is this is a project management software. Now, the thing about Asana that, I, that is really important to know is this is not something that you're going to need immediately out of the gate. But this is a really incredible tool when you start bringing on employees and you start training employees because they're not going to understand or remember everything that you said. So what Asana is, is basically we set up a project. Let, let's say that it's every order that you get. If Let's say you're a custom furniture maker. Every order that you get, you can uh, put into Asana... And you can say, these are all the steps required to com- complete this order. This is, And you can assign those steps to actual people inside of Asana. And so what happens is that your, your guy in the shop, when he gets to a place where he doesn't know what to do next, he can pull up Asana and say, okay, check, I've done this, check, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. This is my next step to complete on this project. And this is so scalable and it allows you to remove yourself from the business. Instead of you constantly having to train everybody, constantly having to look over their shoulder, you can show them, you can put every step inside of Asana, and guess what? If you join the Woodworking Business Accelerator program, I actually give you all of my temp- my Asana templates so that you can, boom, immediately implement this into your business with any employees that you have. It's allowed us to basically onboard employees and make sure that systems are running smoothly. And so that's number three, that's Asana. Uh, number four is called Loom, L-O-O-M dot com. And what Loom is, is it really works hand in hand with Asana. So imagine that you never record yourself training anybody. You get a new, new employee, you spend 20 hours training him, two months later he leaves. You get a new employee, you spend t- 20 hours training him, eight months from now he leaves. What's going to happen is you're just going to have you're going to you're saying the same things over and over and over. What Loom is is a software that stores video files for your employees. So you can use this for lots of different things, but Loom that's one of the greatest uses of Loom is that it allows you to create videos around what your team should be doing and then store it on their platform. Then, when you hire a new employee, instead of you spending 20 hours in the shop with them, you can send them to Loom, they can watch the 10 videos, and then they can go to work, right? They can watch the, whatever, 20 hours of video and then go to work. Because it's gonna, be, it's gonna allow you to scale and hire teammates at a much faster rate and without your shop uh, productivity completely just crashing, falling apart. And so Loom, that's number four. Number five, it's called Pipe Drive. And what PipeDrive is, is it's a CRM system. So that means like, that's like customer relationship management system. And ultimately what you want a CRM for is like right now, let's say you're just starting or you're considering starting, you're probably not talking to a whole lot of people, right? Potential customers. You might be talking to five to 10 people a month or something like that. That's really relatively easy to keep up with. But as you start scaling your company and you're talking to five or 10 people a day, And then you're trying to remember, who do I follow up with? Who have I talked to? Who sent the last message here? Who did this? This gets really convoluted and really confusing. So what PipeDrive is, is basically log into PipeDrive and it'll pull up all your potential leads inside your business. And so what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to see who have I not talked to yet that has messaged or called or inquired on Facebook or Instagram. Who have I responded with? Who, am I in a, who have I given a quote out to? Who is right now like maybe voicing some objections and I need to address some of that from a sales standpoint? And then who am I closing? And then it's also going to be able to spit out data at the end of every week or month that says this is how many leads you had come in. This is how many were in this phase or this phase or this phase. This is how many you close, how many sales you closed, and this is how many sales you lost, right? And that way you can constantly keep track of what, what my conversion rates are, how many people do I talk to and how many of them do I actually sell? 
and you can keep track of, am I getting better? Am I getting worse? Uh, as you as you progress and so man this is this was kind of a game changer for us because we started noticing that we were just getting we had people that were falling through the cracks that were we had so, we were talking to so many people once we started scaling our business that we were um we had people falling through the cracks so we partnered this with our next software that i'm about to tell you about in just a moment so that when we got messages on Facebook, they automatically got uploaded into our CRM. And it's just such a powerful tool because my salesperson can now log in every day in the pipe drive and know exactly who she's talking to and what she's doing. And so this was game changing. Uh, number six, this is the sixth software that, um, that I just actually mentioned with pipe drive. And, and what I use, it's called automate.io. Uh, but unfortunately, automate.io got bought out they're getting sold to another company, so you're not going to be able to find that anymore. But another software that's very similar is called Zapier.com. Z-A-P-I-E-R.com. What Zapier is, is it is an automation software. Well, basically, what it does is if this happens, then somehow magically the software allows this to happen. For example, somebody buys something from you on your website. Well, you can set up as a Zap, is what they call it on Zapier, that if, if somebody does something on your website, it automatically uploads that information into a Google Drive or it automatically sends a message or it automatically sends an email. Or like you can, there's thousands of potential automations inside of Zapier that will allow you to do all kinds of cool stuff. And so you can automatically be adding people to email lists, adding them to spreadsheets, adding them to financial reports, adding them to QuickBooks, adding them to your CRM system, adding them to, I mean, it, the, the list is endless and it goes on and on and on and on. And this is one of the most powerful ways to automate a large portion of your business so that you always have good data, good information, and you're not having to manually enter it. Now, if you get a phone call, you're gonna have to add them to the CRM. If you get a text message, you're gonna have to add them to the CRM. But anything that happens online is automated so that it automatically gets added to my CRM and I can see the conversations that we've had when they first messaged and I can uh, track my follow-up, my communication with them. So Zapier, it was, auto, was automate.io. I'm not sure what business bought it out, uh, but Zapier is really the main player in that space that can take your Facebook messages from your Facebook page, put that inside of Pipedrive. So incredible software, something that I would highly look into. It is a little technical. It is, it, you're going to have to really spend some time with it to, to know how to work it. Um, but you join the Woodworking Business Accelerator program, we'll help you with that. Um, number seven, the final thing that, that I just want to mention, and this was a totally free software, is Google Drive. Google Drive is, in my opinion, the single greatest way to transfer data, to transfer pictures, to transfer videos, to transfer that sort of thing out there because it's completely free. All you have to have is a Gmail email address and you can access it. This is really, really important when you have multiple people on your teams that need to see the same information at the same time. So for example, my business, we have a production list and a production schedule that we keep inside of Google Drive. This is so good. Just so you know, this is highly valuable information. We have a production list, a production schedule that we keep inside of Google Drive. I'm a full-time pastor and I work at the church 40 hours a week. I have a shop manager that is in my shop and then I have a an admin slash salesperson that is in my showroom. These are three separate locations. And what happens is that I need to have live feedback on where we're at in regards to what's getting done and what's not getting done. Uh, my administrative uh, person needs to also have this feedback so she can communicate with customers. So what happens is as projects are completed or they're progressing, my shop manager is updating this production list live inside of Google Drive, and it's changing live for both me and my administrative person. If we just had paper lists, we would have to manually talk all the time. He would be updating it, and then he would have to call us get us on a group call, let us, let us know to update our manual list, right? But because it's a living, breathing document that we all share, he can make adjustments or we can make adjustments on the fly, and we're getting that feedback instantly online. Man, this is super valuable. So if this has helped you as you're starting to think through what systems do I need in order to grow my business, what, what softwares do I need to utilize, these, these are my top seven uh, systems and softwares that can really take your business to the next level. If you're just starting to grow or starting to scale, you're going to need a CRM. You're going to need to be running QuickBooks and quit doing this by paper. You're going to need to build a beautiful website. Shopify is the number one recommended platform for that, that, that I would, that I would recommend. You need to have videos to be able to train your people. Uh, and then 
sharing production, this production schedule through Google Drive is also highly, highly valuable. So if this has been valuable to you, please help me out. Subscribe below. And uh, if you're listening to the podcast, make sure you leave me a review. And other than that, um, I'm going to wrap this episode up. I'm seriously so grateful for you guys. We just broke uh, 90 episodes. We'll be at 100, 100 episodes in just a few weeks. Uh, it's crazy to think that we've been doing that this or this that long, uh, but we're just getting started. And so last thing, real quick, if you are currently doing between two and $10,000 a month in your custom furniture business or woodworking business, and you're ready to scale and you're ready to grow, uh, one thing that is incredible that I obviously want to promote, want to talk about is our woodworking business accelerator program. We've got several clients that are working through this now, and we've already 5X, 10X their business in a matter of 90 to 120 days. And so we come alongside you, we, we take and we run all your marketing for you, but then we help you implement all these systems and these softwares that I'm talking about right now in this video into your system or into your business to make it run smoothly and efficiently. So if that's you, I'm going to have a link in the description below, and I'm also going to have links for, I'm going to try to put some links in here for all these other things that I mentioned these softwares so you can go check those out as well but with that being said i really appreciate you guys uh, love you so much i'll see you in the next one thanks